Now, nataka kwa kifupi tusome hii neno ambao Bwana amekuwa akininenea. Warumi eh, Mariko 8 aya 14 inasema wakasahau kuchukua mkate. Wara choboni hawana ila mkate mmoja tu. Akawaangiza akasema angalieni jihadharini na chachu ya mafarisayo na chachu ya Herode wakabishana wao kwa wao kwa kuwa hawana mikate naye Yesu akatabua akawaambia bona mnabishana kwa sababu hamna mikate my topic is bona mnabishana kwa sababu hamna mikate leo nimewaletea mikate Mnataka mikate? Kwa sababu our topic is bona muna bishana. Uwezi kosa mzee hapa asubuhi. Shida yako na mke ni mkate. Mkate unamaanisha pesa. Mkate unamaanisha nguo. Mkate unamaanisha hazina. Mkate unamaanisha hata mashaba. Mkate unamaanisha resources. Bona munabishana ni kwa sababu hamna mkate. Now listen carefully. Kristo akawauliza, hamujafahamu bado. Nataka muangalie maswali matatu. Ya kwanza, hebu sema nyuma yangu, bona munabishana. Kwa sababu hamna mikate. Ah, jabra swali la pili, ham hamfahamu bado. Wala hamjaelewa. Mioyo yenu ni mizito. Now, this is a lifestyle. Hii ni matokeo ya kitu. Ukiangalia hii ni matokeo ya kitu. Na nimekuja kudiu na hii. Kwa maana wakati huu tunaishi, hii ndio problem tuko naye. Amen. Kubishania kwa maana hakuna kutokufahamu bado kutokuelewa bado na matokeo yake moyo unakuwa mzito tunaishi wakati ambapo shetani na hali ya dunia yataka kuleta hii nami nasimama kusema haitaingia kwa wateule i say haitaingia kwa wateule now listen jesus Alikuwa amemaliza huduma ya miujiza ya chakula. Ukiangalia Kristo akalisha watu elfu tano na mikate mitano na samaki wawili. Now, I want to say something. Wakati Yesu alirisha watu elfu tano na mikate mitano na samaki wawili I want to announce to you what just did. Watu walifuata Yesu siku kama tatu. Wakitamani miujiza, wakitamani ufunuo, wakitamani kuona makubwa. Na wakafika pahali ikawa kwamba wamekauka na wako najaa sana. Now, Petero na wanafunzi wakasema, Jesus Fukusa hao watu. Fukusa kila mtu akajipange na wakanunue chakula kule mijini. Kwa sababu hatuna chakula ya kuwatosha. Lakini Yesu akasema hawafukuzwi watapewa chakula hapa. Now I want to introduce to you maisha aina mbili. Maisha ya kwanza inasema fukusa hakuna chakula. Ya pili inasema usifukuze watakula. Are you, are you understanding? Maisha moja inasema withdraw. Withdraw kabisa hakuna hope. Na maisha mengine inasema you are not withdrawing there is hope. I want to introduce to you the voice from heaven. Wakati Petero anasema watu wafukuzwe hakuna chakula 
Mtu akajipange, mwokozi anasema wasiende, watakura. Kuna jambo limeanza kutokea katika uchumi wa dunia sasa. Watu wengi wanaona kumekauka. Na Mungu hawezi nyamaza wakati kumekauka. I want to announce to you na kwa mikono yako I want to introduce the economy of Jesus Christ. Uchumi ulioko sijui wa nini wa bottom up na up bottom na wide and whatever I don't know how it will work but I want to declare by the word of God katika Yesu kuna njia. Ah eh na leo nitawaombea. Leo nitawaombea. Agaria kuna watu wanaume 1500. Of course tunaweza sema wanawake na watoto walikuwa 1600. We can summarize by saying kile kikundi chaweza kuwa kilikuwa na watu 1012. Na kulingana na uchumi uliokuweko, hakuna chakula ya hawa watu wafukuzwe. Na kulingana na uchumi ambao Yesu alileta, alisema hakuna kwenda itapatikana I want to declare that to your business I must say it now hallelujah and then Jesus akauliza nyinyi mko na nini wakasema it's okay kuna kijana hapa ana mikate mitano na samaki wawili Kristo akapewa hiyo I say by the grace of God today Sijui nini utanipatia leo kiakilisha your business. Kwa maana something from your business, something from your pocket lazima ifike mikononi mwa Kristo ndio kupatikane network ya Yesu kuleta uchumi wake kwa uchumi wako. I, I don't know because some hata kama utatoa 100 giri hiyo si viobo. Something about na Mr Nasia mimi kubeba I sense in my heart Jesus alitaji tu kujua nini iko Hata kama ni nusu mkate Hata kama ni kuota ni nini iko Anataka tu ifike mikononi mwake aweke ishara yake isiyokauka My God is able to do that Alifanya wakati wa Elijah kulikosa chakula lakini ribidi kuguru alete nyama man of god should eat hata kama itabidi ipikiwe binguni wangushiwe you must eat hata kama it... haleluya bwana wa mabwana aniamuru niwaambie mutakula na mutavaa na mutajenga kwa maana kuna kitu kimeamuliwa kutoka juu watu wa gedhorai Natagaza nikiwa mjumbe wa Bwana. Nyinyi mnabadilika leo. Ninawatuma kwa hiyo duka na uchumi wa binguni. Ah Elija aliambiwaje watu wanakufa na njaa. Akaabua wewe enda pumzika pale. Kuna kijito kunywa maji. Na kwa maana hakuna duka hakuna nini. Nimeamuru dege akulishe. There's no way God can be defeated hawezi shidwa na kama una imani so tumia yangu mimi nasikia nina imani nyingi na nimekugawia tumia wiki hii haleluya god cannot be overcome na wakati hiyo kijito likauka what happened there's no way elijah can suffer aliambiwa usijali and the sarefath nimeamuru mwanamke mjane akulishe In other words, enda usababishe uchumi wangu Sarefat. Alipoenda Sarefat, alikuta mwanamke mjane anakusanya kuni ili apike the last meal. But God changed it. Ikawa the first meal. I said the first meal. Kile kinaitwa last meal in the world. It is changing to be the first meal in the kingdom. My God, I worship you. Hallelujah. Mama alisemaje? Alisema ninaunga kidogo. Mafuta kidogo nipike tule tufe. Elijah akasema no, madam, 
I want to change the last to be the first. And this how it will work. Ukipikia mtoto wako kwanza mutakura mufe. Ukinipikia mimi na B things you change. Akaba first of all cook for me. Mama akati. By the way, do you know dio kubadrike kuna kitu mungu atakwambia ufanye after this? Are you hearing this? Kuna kitu mungu atakwambia ufanye after this. Ambao itafanya biashara yako na nyumba yako ikae kama nyumba ile ilijalika. You are going to be different. Ah. Naomba sandi kwa maana itawaombea. Muje mix wa wiki hii umenunua nguo ambao haifanani na wakati huu. Na uje naye sandi. Na mpage raini pasta akague. Na mwambie bei. Something must happen. Something must happen. Something must happen. Hey hey, Mungu wa Elijah ni Mungu wa Gedhrai. Mungu wa Elijah ni Mungu wa Gedhrai. Hallelujah. Mama dipo pika. Elijah kaona mama ni kama ameshakanyikiwa. Kwa maana unga haikauki. Mafuta haishi. Akamwambia mama, can I speak to you yes? As long as kutakuwa na ja Israel. Hiyo mkembe hautakosa unga. Hiyo chupa haitakosa mafuta kwa neno la Jehova. Amen. Mama alirisha Elijah, akarisha wageni kwa maana kwa neiba watu walioba unga na hebu nikuambie wakati wowote kulikuwa na jaa, chupa ambao ilikuwa iisha wakufe ikawa ndio itazidi kulisha nabii family na majirani. That is your miracle now and in this season. Receive it in just Christ's name. I say receive it friends. Receive it. Namujue nimewaambia it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Hata kama ungekuwa unaweza kuandika andika my miracle this season. Unaandika hiyo. Na kama una imani simunifuate muone it's my miracle this season. Unajua bahati kuna baadhi ya wadugu wakati huu watu wanalia they have become very rich. Kuna mmoja alistuka akamwambia bishop can I talk to yes. Nimefanya faida ya shilingi milioni ine in one day kwa duka yangu. Akaniambia bishop nimejua vile kumeandikwa nitabarikiwa nikose pali pa kuweka it is true. Akaniambia jambo lingine bereni ageinukiwa na neighbors sasa duka yake inapanuka east west north south hakuna mtu anaingilia na wafanyikazi wa ha, hawaibi akasema bishop nimeona pia mungu alisema atamlaani yule alae it is evident in my business amen na akaniambia ameona pia the third promise. Bwana amesema misabibu yetu haitamwaga matunda kabla wakati wake. Akasema do you know bishop everything I start ninafika mavuno. Na akaniambia jambo la nne wakati huu ni muombe anataka kununua nyumba Nairobi Central Business Area nyumba kubwa hapo nikamwambia nimesema eda nunua na nikijana nimeombea the other day ah it must happen here hallelujah you see wakati yesu alishika mikate mitano za makwawili bora tu we bora tu ishikamane na mafuta ya kristo au na b things you change Yesu hakuambia wapeane kwanza alisema kwanza iwekwe kwa mikono yake akashika akashukuru kuna, kuna tofauti ya vitu ambazo ziko nje pale na zile zimefika mikononi mwa Yesu any business any business any work ambao itafika mikononi mwa Kristo it will never be the same alisema mikate kabla haijafika 
akisema kwanza muzipeane itapeanwa baada ya kufika kwa mikono yangu akashukuru alipopeana wanafunzi wakagudua formula ya mikate hii si kama beleni haishi haishi unapeana inarudi tena unapeana inarudi unapeana inarudi wakapea watu na ikabaki vikabu 12 watu wakasema this must be economy different from the one in the country iliyo katika inchi si hii huu ni uchumi wa Yesu Kristo i am believing that's who bishop gatimo is now mimi sio hasora na nyinyi sio hasora sio game mambo ya UDA i'm speaking kila naona mkiitwa siku hizi hata nyinyi mnaitwa hasora si tunaitwa wana wa Mungu walidhi pamoja na Kristo. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Habari yenu? Now listen. Kristo pia akalisha watu elfu ine na mikate saba na wakashiba na ikabaki vikabu saba. Baada hayo akaambia wanafunzi twende twende wakiwa katika chombo wakaanza kubishana why walikuwa na mkate moja Kristo akawauliza nilipolisha watu 1500 nilitumia nini mikate mitano na samaki wawili nilipolisha watu 1400 nitumia nini mikate saba silibaki akawauliza je even now hamjui kwamba mkate moja peke yake mimi Yesu nikiwepo inawatosha na ibaki even after seeing that hallelujah that's why mnaona mtu kama David alipoitwa na Sauli akaambua wewe huwezi angusha Goliathu kwani wewe ni nani hello David alirudi nyuma kidogo akaambia so mimi unayoona hapa kuna wakati eh, simba ilishika kodoo yangu nami nikaruka nikatoa kodoo kwa makucha ya siba na nikaua siba kuna wakati dubu irukia kodoo wangu nami nikarukia dubu nikatoa nikatoa kondoo kwa makucha ya dubu nikaua dubu akamwambia so wewe hunijui wewe hunijui that is my past kwa maana sauli alisifu goliatho goliatho hajaua siba akamwambia now mr so mr president sir that's the tiny boy you see here hiyo hiyo ndio reference yake don't ask me who is my dad ask me who i am i'll tell you nimeua siba i'll tell you nimeua dubu na huyu koliatho atakuwa kama moja wapo wa hawa ataenda hey hey hallelujah so akakuta kumetokea level ingine ya uchumi may god introduce you to another level of power another level of blessings Sita kuongea sana. Nisichelewe baina ya. Unajua mimi sasa mimi ndio niko na microphone. Naweza jichelewesha? Mimi mwenyewe. Mimi tu. Nyinyi mchelewi mko masaa. Hallelujah. But I want to pray for you now. Na nikataka msimame nyote. 